Hello, I'm Gino Peoples, and uh, for y'all that hasn't been following some of my, my art, I've been making these videos to help people that are maybe interested in painting, and if this can be very helpful, I would, I would hope so, uh, if you're invited in to watch me paint. What I'm doing here today, or what I've been doing for about the last week and a half, is I've been painting this picture that I'm another Christmas painting. This is the time of the year that I do my Christmas art. And it's going to be called, well, Rudolph's going to actually be right here in the picture. And of course, Santa, I don't know how well you can see it right now, but Santa's going to be basically asking Rudolph if he will guide his sled. Uh, we've all heard the saying, won't you guide my sled tonight? That's kind of where I'm at with my, with my title. It may change. I might try to shorten it a little bit, but to get the same aspiration across the people. But anyway, that is my passion in the painting, is to make Santa up close with Rudolph, more of a portrait in the front, giving you the idea of what I'm trying to bring into this Christmas spirit painting. Uh, if we can zoom in on, on the big house right here, I'm, I'm trying to make this feel like the North Pole. If you've seen my other painting, that's kind of where I was at with it. I've never done paintings of the North Pole. And that's kind of where I want to be with these paintings. Now, whether it ends up the North Pole or not, I can't really tell you. My paintings usually, I go into them with an idea or a plan, but they basically build themselves as they go. Sometimes I'll get different ideals as the weeks pass. Uh, at this point, that's what I'd like it to be. Uh, that's where I'm at with it. Now, if you can see this house right here, all the lights are on. This is how I like to do my Christmas paintings. We don't worry about electricity bills and all that stuff. It's paint. It ain't going to cost me electric, except for the times it costs it takes me to paint. But I don't worry about stuff like that when it comes to authenticity, especially when I'm painting fantasy paintings, or in this case, a Christmas spirited paintings, my version. So I like to put all the lights on. It really gives a, a happy time a working space time. These elves are, you know, they're they're busting their butt getting this thing ready. And of course this Christmas Eve he's loaded up fixing to go. That's a no-brainer. So by exploding my lights it gives me a lot of light to play with which I love to do. And uh, uh, it just it's just fun. So you can see that I've kind of added more houses on my last Christmas painting and in the past people have asked me to put more more of the buildings involved. People love the, the cottage look, the stone looks, and I've kind of built this painting basically on what my fan base is, has asked for. And uh, I'm in the business to make money as anybody else. And I like I like to be a people pleaser. That's, that's what I do. And uh, so if I can please people and give them what they want, everybody's happy. And uh, I enjoy it too. Uh, as you can see, I got the house up on the hill. And what this was for is I wanted to show some distance and display how big these trees actually are by pushing them back there. It gives you an idea of how big these northern pines really are. And you can see it's nice and cozy. Where I'm planning on going with this piece is uh, you'll see the walkway come down. It's going to be like a, you know, kind of like a sidewalk. The elves are busy. This might be where they live. I ain't really put signs on them yet to give you cue cards. It might just be left to the imagination. But there will definitely be sidewalks out here with street lamps like here. I'm going to try to light that up. And it just gives me a lot to play with. I like to get up into my painting and feel like I'm back there. And it's, just, so it's a nice little spot if I don't take, take too much up with my toys in this bag. So that's where I'm at with that. But now that you've got a look at it, this gives you an inside look at where I'm at at this point. And now I'm, I'm fixing to start painting Santa. So... If you're ready to come in here and watch me paint Santa, hold on because we're fixing to jump on him right now. Uh, we, uh, the paints that I'm using today will be, uh, of course, my reds for his suit. I'm going to try to jump on this beard. I might not get it all in this clip, but there will be another clip that will continue on with Santa so you can see the whole process of how I paint him. Uh, right now, I'm fixing to start adding my dark reds to it. I like to work out of my darks. And then I'll start bringing in my color. So if you stay with this video in the next one and the next one, you should be able to, to follow where it's going. So anyway, come on in and watch me paint. I'm going to start with this 
Elizabeth well, red, I love it. It's, it's my dark reds that I like to use. And of course, I'll start painting the reds in. It's basically where my shadows are, and I work out of that with my light. It seems to be an easier way for me to paint. I've always enjoyed it that way. And being self-taught, it's always worked for me. That was the way I started doing it years ago. And it's just, I guess, my style of painting. So as I start working it in, I'm not going to be real careful. I'm just basically going to start loading some paint on here. i got to put paint on it. And I, of course, I like to, it's kind of sad. I, I really wouldn't want to say I like to, but as far as my art, that's the way I paint. It's just sad some of the, some of the, the really good stuff comes last. But that's just the way I proceed to paint. I don't know if she's got it zoomed up close enough here, but if you can see what I'm doing, I'm basically going right over my drawing where I had lined it in. I use a Payne's gray paint, and as it dries, it's called underneath, and I paint over the top. I still have, if we can get a zoom right here, hopefully they can see, it's really dark, but hopefully they can see where my underlying lines are that represent, because I had to do a lot of sketching, it represents where his wrinkles are on his jacket. And as long as I can see it, I can come back in there and that's where my highlights will go. Where creases are is where it catches the light. And the light is very important. But at this point, it's about putting my darks in. This will be white, of course. This is his sleeves, his overlay. So I'm going to come down in here and get the back part. This is his belt. So I'm going to come right up in here, nosy up in here a little bit. Just keep applying the paint. This is his beard, so of course I'll go right up under it. That will be some of the darkest shades because his beard would be casting the shadow. And I just go right over my drawing, and you can still see it. This is what I call a rough in completely. I'm basically blocking in my painting at this point. Nothing to it. You just got to basically like doing a coloring book at this point. You're just filling it in. Just get the base coat, basically. Like I said, there's nothing really fancy about this part, but I wanted you to be invited in to see the whole Santa being painted to represent how I go about it. I know there's a lot of artists out there that ask a lot of questions, especially when I go to, to shows or I'm on site and I usually paint. Uh, I get these questions all the time, so I couldn't think of a better way to, to actually do it. One of them was, you know, where do you start? How do you go about it? What is it that makes it do what it does? I've seen your work most of the time when I've walked up on you. You're at the finishing part. So I gave. I wanted to make sure that everybody could see Santa be done in the process. Somewhat. You might not see all of it, but you'll see most of it. It'll be enough to let you know how I go about painting.
Okay, at this point, we're going to have to quit, and I'll be back. We'll continue our next clip. Thank you.